I've always wanted to have a high credit score. I'm the type of person that uh, likes to do everything as best as possible. I've always been really good with my credit. I've always paid all, everything on time and I've figured out ways to manipulate credit scores to get them as high as possible. So I've used all those avenues to get my credit score uh, up to 814. And when I started dating uh, my wife here, uh, at about three months in, we found out, I talked to her about her credit score and, and, and her credit and her debt and she wasn't doing too well. Her credit <laughs> score is 466 and she had 25,000 in credit card debt and 23,000 in school loans. I was actually uh, doing really well financially, um, making a good living and supporting myself, but I never really learned how to budget. And so that was where all the um, bad habits came in of taking out a lot of credit cards and um, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, that kind of thing. And so one day when we were sitting down talking about it, just like you said, he was asking me about, so how are you financially? And I was like, mm, and I started crying because I was afraid it would kind of break us up. And and um, But it was really great because he laid it down telling me like here's the fundamentals of what you need to know and how you need to manage your money and because like I said I was doing well but I wasn't doing well with it. Yeah I want one of one of my things is I, I didn't want to marry someone who was deep in debt. You know in, in the past uh, it used to be you'd ask your person who you're dating so how many people have you dated or been with now instead you ask what's your credit score <laughs> and if they don't know or if it's really bad then it's like yeah I don't know. We just had our first son, yep, Cooper, nine weeks ago, so uh, we're really excited. So this is going to be great. I'm, I'm going to teach him all about credit. I'm going to teach him, I'm going to build his credit immediately. I'm going to teach him how to save. I'm going to teach him how to uh, budget. budget his money. I'm going to teach him how to be careful, avoid avoiding rip-offs, and to do a lot of research before he makes his purchases. I just can't wait to have instill all my everything that I know onto him as a young age where his brain is just absorbing everything. I, I was a professional poker player until we just had our baby and now I'm going to be a stay-at-home dad and part-time professional poker player. <laughs> a lot of people who I meet at the casinos, they're constantly just using the money that they use from their checking or savings account that they use for their everyday bills, for their rent, for their lights, for their utilities. And but what I do, I put money off to the side into a separate poker fund totally separate from all of our finances, all of our investing, all of our savings, all of our checking, and I only use that money from there. But He's that's... very disciplined about it too. It's like the buy-ins come out of the poker fund and then when he wins, um, he pays back the buy-ins to the poker fund to kind of keep it level and maybe add in a little bit more and then the rest goes to our checking account and it's nice because it builds our savings and our emergency fund um, makes us feel more secure. Yeah, I want to be able to be at that top. Uh, it, it, not many people could be at that top. You know, my score right now is at 814. I'm uh, at the 96th percentile. That 850, that's just a great title to have and a, and a great feeling to be able to say, wow, I've worked my way from zero all the way up to 850. And then when I talk to people about credit scores, they'll be able to uh, respect my, uh, my views on it a lot more with the higher of the credit score that I have. It builds your credibility. Yes, it totally no builds your credibility. No pun intended. <laughs> Good one, honey.